Saturday, February 11th, 5.03 p.m. New York time. Good afternoon. And another trading week. So we'll recap the Dow 30 stock index as well as the 30 stocks in the index. We're looking at a one-year chart here, each candle being a week for the Dow Jones Industrial Average Stock Index. That's the 30 largest publicly traded companies in the United States. For the week, look at that, inside candle. Small little body too, dodgy. Two of them in a row here. It's also a huge consolidation. Yeah. This may be a sign of distribution. Smart money institutions may be selling. That's very concerning here. That's also the high here for 2023. Okay, typically when you see these small little bodies like that and several of them in a row over time, here, when you go forward and look back again, you see this being signs of distribution. Something may crack soon. Okay, so let's look at the 30 stocks individually, alphabetical order. So just note, this is the grid on the left, would be the individual stocks. And this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average on the right. Well, remember, remember, it's an inside candle that close for the week. And we're pretty darn close to the highs of the year. Pretty much a big solidation here. Now looking at the stocks singly, Apple, it's trending from the lows of the year up. But also it made an inside candle just like the Dow index. Yeah, very small trading range here. And it closed solid body equivalent to a red. That's concerning. Next, Amgen. Yeah, it's trending down, totally opposite than Apple, okay? Oops. Here's Apple. It's been trending up higher highs, higher lows. Amgen been doing the inverse, trending down. Look at that. Last week, I showed you that huge wick as a demand zone buyer stepped in there, but it closed again the body and red closed just about midpoint, a little bit lower, leaning more bearish bias. Makes sense that we're still down here. Inside candle, solid. Yeah, that's not looking good. American Express made a new high for the year. And then sell off small trading range too. Boeing <clears throat> made a lower high, lower low. Yeah, it closed green, closed above the body of the prior one. Still made a lower high, lower low. It's in this consolidation phase. And that might be a stop hunt, time would tell. Yep, that might be a bearish stop hunt, that red candle there. Caterpillar. Inside candle for weeks, small trading range, huge difference. Wow. Huge trading range those past weeks, massive volume last week as selling volume. And now dodgy, small trading range. Yeah. I would not be buying this. this. This could be bad. Salesforce, Charlie Roy, Charlie Romeo, Mike Salesforce. It's also trending up like Apple tested that. Supply zone last week, rejected it. So did not make a high. No, actually made a lower high. It's coming to earnings soon. Mm, pump and will be a dump soon. Mm, when's earnings? Next month on the first after market closes. Cisco Systems, red for the week, lower high, lower low. It's in a massive consolidation here too. Well, interesting too, don't forget this. Week there and that week there, both rejections. Yeah, does not look good. Chevron, Charlie Victor X-Ray, inside candle. Small trading range. Lots of inside candles finishing here. Interesting. Yeah, massive sell that prior week could go lower. And Disney, Delta, India, Sierra, red for the week. Made a new high for the year. Mm -hmm. But a close red with a huge tail on the top. Also tested this swing high here, traded above it and rejected it by being rejected. It did not close above it. Let's remove that swing high. So I should extend this out. This is a supply zone. So that's very bearish what happened here. All that trading range and closed down here. Not good. Nope. Like I said, did make a new high for the year. So let's label that. 
definitely will not be buying up here. Dow Chemical also made a new high for the year. And then it closed red, almost like a dodging. Yeah, we may see a reversal come into next week. Hmm. A lot of things showing that's not looking good. Goldman Sachs also new high for the year and then sold off. Home Depot. There we go. Red for the week. Didn't make a lower, lower, lower high. Didn't even test this supply zone at all. Nope. Honeywell inside candle for the week. Again, massive sell off since here. It's not looking good. It's bearish. <clears throat> IBM inside candle for the week. Wow. Intel, red for the week. <clears throat> Tight consolidation here. Let's label that right there. There we go. Consolidation. Johnson & Johnson, J&J, &J. inside candle for the week. So last week, we had that huge trading range, long wick on the bottom. That's all we did was trade inside that wick, very bearish. Mm -hmm. And back here, I see this yellow arrow facing day, down. I shared that as a trade idea all the way back there. Well, but if you took that trade, and nothing wrong with taking profits. JP Morgan, new high for the year. That new high for the year tested the swing high and rejected it. That's bad. It didn't even close above it. Huh. Massive consolidation. Each week on the top. That's interesting too. Might not be looking good come next week. Coca Cola. Red for the week, lower high, lower low. Coming into earnings also. Hmm, the 14th of this week before the market opens. Wow. McDonald's, red for the week, lower high, lower, lower high, lower low. 3M, wow, two weeks in a row inside candles. There's the high for the year. Yeah, that's not looking good. Merck, Mike Romeo Kilo. Wow, finally got a green candle, making it higher, 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 low. So it reversed. That's looking good. Nice. Broke above that inside candle, closed above it. Nice reversal. See how this continues that way. Put an arrow there. Something to consider. Yep, something to consider doing bear, put sp bear call spreads. Sorry, bear put, sorry, bull put spreads. Bullish put spreads. Yep, be doing, oh, let's take that down a little bit longer, a little. Right down here below 100, you could be looking at those, see if they pay well, well enough, tight spreads. Microsoft, new high for the year. Also took out that swing high, scan, did not close above it. Nope, huge wake on the top, very concerning. So let's label that. That yellow candle that was showed when I gave a bullish trade idea back then. And if you took the trade, nothing wrong with taking profits. Tested this supply zone and broke above it. Nice. Again, this could be a potential reversal now. Concerning. Still have that gap up there too to get filled. Nike. Red for the week. Lower high, lower low. Yeah. Never even tested that supply zone. Just sold off real quick. That's not looking good. Dr. Gamble, new low for the year. <clears throat> wow. So that yellow arrow, that shared that as a trade out there, bearish all the way back then. Tango, Romeo, Mike, Travelers, inside candles for the week. That's not looking good neither. Yep, just lower highs, trending down. Uniform November Hotel, United Health, inside candle, hollow candle, quote, to a green, bullish engulfing, nice. Let's see if that turns around. Let's go higher. Interesting. 
Visa, red, lower high, lower low. Oof, massive distribution looks like it's going on there. Horizon, red for the week, broke below that inside candle. Looks like it might get smacked down, not good. Whiskey, Bravo Alpha, red for the week, massive consolidation. And Walmart, green, made a lower high, lower low, then closed up like a, almost like a pin bar, bullish one, nice. Potential reverse, so didn't even take out the low. That's good. That was a low of the year, but didn't even take it out. That's good. It's also coming into earnings soon. 21st of this month before the market opens. I'll just leave it there. And we'll leave it at one of the better looking ones. That was Apple. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. You've gotten value from this video. If this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on my PayPal or Venmo. You can leave a small tip. If you don't want to share financial support, no problem. Just click the like and subscribe and leave a comment, please.